What's up guys? Welcome back to the Pokemon TCG for the binary theme tournament round six. Guys, that's right. We are in round six of the binary theme tournament. Just to, just to pop it up on the screen for you as we're getting ready to pop into uh, round six. This is everything going on with it. So with round six, uh, honestly guys, if we, if we don't do well today, I don't think we will be continuing in the binary theme tournament. If we currently look at the uh, the, the, the current ranks of everyone currently playing right now, uh, from that last game, we dropped to 27th place. Uh, the person we're going up against today... Uh, ooh, okay, so okay, so the place is in move because people have started to turn in their round sixes. The person we're going against today is currently in 26th place, but they were a little higher. But honestly, if we end up pulling off the win, we're going to be tied to all these people 3-2. We'll just be in 22nd. That's as high as we can go right now. Now, to continue on through it, we need to get up to 8th, which means that these players need to lose a round uh, and we need double win. So, if we pull a win today, awesome. But this may be the end of our trip in the binary team tournament. So, I've already searched up our... Uh, our opponent that we're about to play against, uh, and this is what we're looking at for them. Two Zoro uh, to evolve into Zorark, uh, three throws, uh, two uh, Palp Toads, three Stunfisks, uh, one Mew, two Time Poles. Uh, those, those are for their Pokemon. 16 Energy, Darkness, and Fighting, and then for their trainer cards, they have three Trainer's Mail, two Professor's Letters, two Wishful Batons, two Titan Lizas, two Scorched Earth, four Nest Balls, three Eva Sodas, which allows you to evolve Pokemon. Uh, which is, I'm assuming they have those for Tim Pole and Popple Toad. They might use it for Zero and Zorak as well, but I feel like Popple Toad is probably who they're trying to get put together here. Uh, two Guzmas, uh, two Fighting Fury Belts, three Professor Junipers, two Professor Kukis to get that additional 20 uh, HP. I know I always bring some mispronounce his name, and two Switches. So that's what we got going for us with today. Uh, oh, and he, okay, cool, cool, cool. They just sent us the invite. I was about to say, let's wait for them to send the invite. Uh, and let's do it. That's the fastest we've moved into for me just to walk you. <sighs> we gotta pull off a win here, guys. We gotta make a win happen. If we don't, it's totally okay. I've had a ball playing in this tournament. Uh, it's been a ton of fun. Uh, as I'm just, I'm really excited to see uh, what tournament we're playing in. All right, so uh, not the, we didn't get Gil to start with, but we did. We do already have a Tranquil that we can get set up next round. We also do get a Mulligan card here. We have a switch. Hopefully, we can pull ourselves a Gibble here. Uh, Gibble would be great to pull right now. Throw him up in there. Professor's Letter to get more energy. Should we need it? A Pokey Kid. Pokey Kid could come in clutch here. Let's see what the Pokey Gear 3.0 gets us. Absolutely nothing and loses that Gibble that was up next. So we're gonna go ahead and hit done here. We can't Pokey Kid this turn anyways. But depending on how mm, he has he oh shoot. Does he get to attack? Does he get to attack? If he gets to attack, we lose. We lose. That's it. Well, that that sucked. That their response was, uh, "Oh my, that was super unfortunate." <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was super unfortunate. I'll respond with an LOL, so that way they know that I'm not upset. Wow! Wow, oh wow, was that super unfortunate there. Uh, that, that, that sucked. That sucked. I came back with a bruh, 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 bruh me. Well, while we're here, let's chat about some pulls that I did uh, in real life today. Uh, I, pull, I opened up some Hidden Fate packs, uh, which I'm pretty excited about. That way I have something to talk about in this video. Uh, to start off with, I pulled... Uh, good old, uh, good old bird trio, Moltres, Zapdos, Articuna. I do have them in some nice card sleeves to keep them nice and protected. Uh, this card typically, uh, when I was doing the search around, just looking at cards worth, uh, it's about a $10 card. I also pulled, uh, Shiny Ho-Oh GX, uh, about a $25 card. Uh, honestly, centering's not terrible, which I, which I looked at. And then, uh... 
similar similar pool that I had Cynthia very nice here similar pool uh, that I had as far as far as worth goes we have a gold Mount Coronet Stadium card very nice also a $25 pool not sure what I'm gonna do with these cards I might take them with me when I go to pick up comics next week and be like hey I pulled these three cards what you think about them and just see what my comic shop guy tells me about them or just take photos and be like because you know coronavirus I don't want them to touch stuff all right, so back in the game here, we again got unlucky with getting another Pokemon onto our bench. Mew is luckily his first pick here, uh, which means he's not gonna kill us because he can, he can put three damage counters any way he likes, uh, but luckily he won't kill us, about this turn at least. Uh, so we'll place energy. Uh, he's probably gonna go ahead and place this. I can't imagine, unless he's just feeling bad for us. Okay, yeah. I was like, unless he's just feeling bad for us. Oh, okay, never mind. I was, I was gonna say, never mind. So he's gonna hit us. Okay. He's gonna hit us for 50 damage. He's gonna hit us for 50 damage here. That was just. We just had bad luck, guys. We had just. Oh, horrible luck. Oh my gosh, did we have bad luck? Oh boy, oh boy, did we have bad luck. It's okay, it's okay. What do we want to do? Don't give me sad face. I know we didn't place energy, but I just don't know how I want to place it yet. And I expect it to have pulled. We're gonna switch here. Give me at least one heads. Okay, all right, then don't, don't be good to me. Guys, I think round six, I think round six is where we stop. I think round six is the end of us in the binary <laughs> Oh my gosh. It was a fun tourney though, it was fun. I e Even if we would have won this, uh, I don't think we would have been progressing. Okay, all right. All right, my dude. Okay, well, I'll just give you the sad face again. This is just the the, the, the the sad tournament is what this was. This do both, but this I only that's the only thing I have to do there. I have oh no, you have the energy out as well. I'm just gonna, just gonna throw it away there. Hey, look at that! We got the gibbles. That's something. That's something right there. Like a Pi Dove. I won't put that Pi Dove up there as I will Pokemon Communication it next turn to get a Garchomp. Not a Garchomp, a Gabite, because I already have Garchomp in my hand. Uh, and then I can also Poke Kid and get another Gar uh, uh, another uh, Gabite as well. Uh, depending on the next card that I pull, could change the way that play goes. Uh, we don't have any energy, so hopefully we pull energy. Uh, so that way I can place an energy onto that Gibble there. Uh, that was a good discard, though. That was a good discard, though. We, we, we might have a chance here, because we're going to come in with Garchomp with his ability already active. Uh, he's going to evolve a Simple here into that Hulkatoad, so that way he can use that energy and be useful. His mini Earthquake actually uh, pretty effective, doing 60 damage and adding damage counters to his bench Pokemon. Honestly, a Pokemon I almost considered putting in here to, to uh, match up with Throw. Ended up not doing it. He has a solid bench already set up. Whereas we do not. We do not have a solid bench already set up. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to see how we progress through this round here. Hopefully we can we can come back and not completely, you know, get destroyed. If I can get one point, I'll feel good about myself. We can win one game. He's going to roll some thunder. Hit us with 30 damage. Deal 10 damage to one of his bench Pokemon. Totally okay with me. Uh, we're gonna have Pokemon communication. Bye bye, Pie Dove. Give me Gabite. Thank you for the Gabite. And a Poke Kid to give me a Gabite for you too. And that's all we got. Two Gabites ready to go. One of them will become Garchomp next turn. Uh,. How many cards do they have left? They have 26, we have 32 currently in our decks. Uh, so there's no chance of installing us on this Groudon. Uh, 
Hopefully he doesn't put any additional energy here. This attack does 30 damage for each of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. So 30, 60, 90, 120. So if he, he didn't attach the energy there, he's going to switch. He's going to switch to throw. Not me. Okay. We have to hope we pull energy. We have to hope we pull energy right now. We didn't pull energy. Guys, we didn't pull energy. How awkward's that? How awkward was that? Garchomp with a free retreat, though. Uh, honestly gonna take that free retreat there uh, to keep my one with energy alive. Uh, that's the best we can hope for here. Best we can hope for here is... Uh, I mean, all he's gonna do here is 120 damage and then we'll free retreat. Hopefully we'll pull energy and we can at least take out his throw here. Uh, we'll be able to take out two of his cards if we have luck on our side, RNG on our side. The heart of the cards on our side. Uh, we might be able to pull off something here. Otherwise, this is going to be an upsetting defeat. If we lose, if we lose two games here without even pulling a win, we have no chance of a recovery uh, and and making it because there might be a round seven. Uh, but if we lose. If we lose all, if we lose both of these games and don't play a third game, there's no chance of us progressing into the bracket. Honestly, no chance of us progressing into round seven. So we'll see what happens here. Right, he has his mini earthquake ready. Right? Reverse shoulder throw. Do the 120 damage, please. Oh, please. Still, no energy. Still no energy. Still no energy. Huge upset, huge upset. The crowd, the crowd roars. We're just having terrible pulls. I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna tell him, I'm gonna tell him. Uh, the heart of the cards is not with me today. The heart of the cards is not with me today. Not with, can we please, we finally get energy. We'll take that free retreat. We won't discard energy because we have no reason to. Yeah, I can tell. Sorry, man. We finally take our first prize card. And then he's immediately going to come in and do 120 damage to us if he does decide to use his throw. Uh, although if I was him, I would I would attach energy to Stun Fist. Because 30... Well, now... Or if he attaches to Stun Fist, throws in 30... 60, 90, 120, still doing 120, actually the same amount of damage here. Um, actually, either way here, he's doing a ton of damage. He, he has a smart setup here. He really th thought through uh, the theme deck cards to use here. Yeah, he has a solid set here. I, I don't see a way to come back here. Both of my pie doves are gone. Uh, no, the only one of my Pi Doves is gone. I don't see a recovery here that works, guys. I truly don't see it. Other than if we just get lucky and he accidentally runs out of cards. Uh. That's our only hope right now. Maybe it can happen. Uh, Professor's Letter, I'll take it. Take the Professor's Letter. That way, we can at least take out one more of his cards. That's all That's all we got here, though. Uh, that player may discard an energy card if that she do, uh, draws two cards. Should we do it? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, because at this point, we lose either way. Okay, we at least get a Cynthia. Cynthia can at least hopefully reset our hand and actually give us something useful to do here. We at least pull energy, which is nice. Uh, let's see what the Great Ball can give us. We can get a Pie Dub. We can get another. If we can get a Pheasant set up in the next couple turns, that'd be cool. But again, I just I don't. See, ooh, oh, that would have been that would have been so clutch to have right now. So now I'm considering. Now I'm considering. Do I do I pull back? No, because we're still at sixty damage, and he'll one shot us later. We're just gonna take a Price card here. We'll take a prize card. We lose this Garchomp. This Garchomp is gone. And he gets to move the energy. So honestly, guys. 
Pretty sure it's over for us. Pretty sure it is indeed over for us. Uh, he's gonna do a mini earthquake here. Interesting strategy. Interesting strategy here. Because that, that he's just gonna put damage counters on himself for no reason. Interesting strategy, not just coming in with throw and, and being a powerhouse. Very interesting strategy here. Not 100% sure why, that, why this is the way they're going, but... Okay, it's not even, like... It's not delaying the inevitable, you're just damaging yourself for no reason here, really. Huh. Alright, so we have, we have the chance for two more cards. Phone, shut up. Uh, so here's the thing, here's the thing. We can heal ourselves. We can heal ourselves. That puts us at 60 HP. But then he comes in and does 100... Actually, he does, what, 10 more damage now? He does 130 damage to us. And it doesn't do anything. I think our I think our set here is to reset our hand. And hope for Tranquil. But even then, we aren't going to have time to set up any energy onto them. We aren't going to have time to set up any energy onto Tranquil. We've already lost one in Pheasant. Uh, just by reset it by using per I think this is over with. I honestly truly think this is over with. I don't think I don't see how I can win LOL. I'll see it through, but this is probably GG. I don't see a way I can pull this off at this point. His bench is just too set up. I feel like he, he's he's purposely trying. Like I feel like this dude is purposely trying to be nice to me and like not let us die here. I feel like that's honestly what's happening right now. Nope. Give me please and pheasant. Nope. Sad face. Guys, that is it for the binary theme tournament. Uh, that's it for the binary theme tournament, guys. That is that is all she wrote there. A very upsetting end to the binary theme tournament, honestly. Very, very, uh, they, they dropped the GGs. I'll send the GGs back. That is the end of the binary theme tournament, guys, but that does not mean that it is the end for all future tournaments. We'll still be doing a ton of tournaments anytime uh, this Reddit page updates and just loop you guys in. So this is the r slash PTC Go League. Uh, you join here uh, on Reddit and you just wait for them to post a new one. The next one's about to start, which is the 10 set scramble. By the time you guys see this video, this this one has already begun, begun 7-3, so look for the next time they post one. I'm not participating in this one because this one specifically is, uh, it's, it's, this, you have to, they're using 10 different sets of cards. I haven't been collecting cards long enough on the, on the, on the online to feel comfortable going into something like this, uh, because people are just going to crush me, so I didn't even sign up for it. The next one that comes, the next one that comes up, I will sign up for, uh, they just had the super band one that just started its round one. If you guys haven't seen, the, our round one video is out there for you guys to go take a look at. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's super exciting. Uh, next time I see them pop up a another tournament, we'll jump into it. Otherwise, we're going to keep trucking on the channel with our typical stuff that we do play. Uh, we're going to be playing the uh, our, our random tournaments, that are our other tournaments that we'll do in the events. As well as just building out some different decks and doing stuff, we're finally going to actually build ourselves an expanded deck based around the uh, the Charizard and Reshram standard deck that we actually got a little bit while back that we took a look at. We're actually going to try and make this deck work better. So if you guys enjoyed... Random hiccup right at the end that I had to suppress. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Leave our at least a key like for the end of the binary theme tournament. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.